Hello, Grandmaster Gambardella here with a nice little video on how Chuck Liddell ruined MMA and is killing the UFC. With the new season of The Ultimate Fighter in full hype and Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz trading insults and threats weekly, it's time to reflect on why and how Chuck Liddell ruined MMA and is killing the UFC. What? You scream, Chuck is the face of the UFC and every MMA fighter wants to be just like him. And that, my friends, is the exact problem. Please let me explain. Let's look at the good old days, B.C., before Chuck. The UFC and the MMA was a group of tough fighters who had great ground fighting and jiu-jitsu. They were exciting to watch, and the matches were always fast-paced, hard-hitting, and great theater. The fighters would attack, take down, ground, pound, and were always working for the submission or setting up a submission in attacks. They were well-trained fighters with a great, gown, a great ground game, a good stand-up game, and always gave a good show and a good fight. Then came Chuck. And he changed all that forever. Liddell was a stand-up guy, a banger. He used to be a wrestler who never does any takedowns. And we have no idea if he knows any takedowns or jiu-jitsu because I've never seen him attempt a submission in training or in the ring. I can't remember a fight that I've ever seen Chuck Liddell try to do a submission in. Chucky was a banger, a dirty boxer, a mohawk warrior. He was a little fat and out of shape, but he had a lot of punching power done very poorly, but done extremely effectively for him. He didn't have any great boxing skills, counter punching skills, fakes, combinations, or any other great boxing skill at all that you would want to teach to your students. But he did have knockout power. And because everyone loves the knockout, Everyone loves Chuck. He knocked out people, and he got the greatest fighters in the world standing up and trying to do the same thing. BJ Penn is one of the greatest ground fighters in the world, but his last fights have all been stand up. When he fights another great ground fighter, they never go to the ground. They just stand and bang and do bad boxing. Poorly thrown techniques done poorly. Frank Mir thinks he's a boxer and he can punch and bang with Shane Carlin despite the fact that Frank Mir is one of the greatest ground fighters in the heavyweight division. Mir now wants to be a bad boxer. And don't forget the great running and ducking Anderson Silva and the great ex-heavyweight banger Tim Silva who never went to the ground and of course all the current heavyweights bangers who never go to the ground. Thank God for Brock Lesnar. It seems you have to be a bad boxer and know how to block a few leg kicks if you want to fight and win in the UFC and the MMA now. Even the great Matt Hughes stands and bangs. And when you do go to the ground, like GSP did in his last fight, you get criticized from Dana White and every other MMA fan out there. That is why burned out old boxers like James Tony are now ranked number 11 in the UFC despite the fact they've never even had a fight in an MMA ring. Now let's not forget the great street banger Kimbo Slice, who just started to learn to fight on the ground after getting hyped as the world's greatest fighter for 10 years. If you can stand and bang, Dana White will give you a contract. He's always looking for the next Liddell. Stand and bang poorly. And if you get taken down, get back up and stand and bang poorly. And please, understand, they are boxing bad. If they just did the boxing part in the MMA ring against any professional ranked fighter in the world in the top 100, they would get knocked out cold. If they couldn't attack the legs and do some takedowns, they would get beat by any good boxer in the world. The UFC and the MMA has become bad boxing personified, done by some of the world's greatest fighters who are being forced to stand up just like Chucky and get the knockout, rather than take them down, ground and pound and work for a submission. It's becoming boring, hard to watch, thanks to Chuck Liddell and his knockout power. Chuck Liddell ruined MMA and is killing the UFC because everyone wants to be like Chuck. And Chuck sucks on the ground. So everyone's standing and banging just like Chuck. There's an old saying, you can't go home, you can't go back in time, but if we could, the MMA world would be a lot better place and have a lot better fights. 
We for one wish for the good old days BC. This is Grandmaster Gambadella. See you next time.